Today, we're going to make a whiteboard animation using Canva. Our story is about Liam, who loves music. In his small town, he spent many hours in his uncle's garage, learning to play different instruments and writing his own songs. After finishing high school, he decided to follow his musical dreams and move to the big city to study at a famous music school. Now, Living let's learn how to make this whiteboard animation using Canva. First, you need to choose a topic for your video. I chose to tell a story, but you can make any kind of video like motivational, explainer, or business advice. After picking your topic, write the script. If you don't have a script, you can use ChatGPT to help you write one. The script for Liam's story was made with ChatGPT. Next, create the voiceover for your animation. You can record your own voice or use an AI voice generator like Eleven Labs or OpenAI's text-to-speech. For this tutorial, I used an AI-generated voice. If you want to learn how to make one, there's a link to a tutorial in the description below. With your script and voiceover ready, let's move on to making the whiteboard animation. Open Canva and create a new design. I'm using the 916 size, which is great for YouTube shorts, TikTok, and Instagram reels, but you can choose any size that fits your project. Now, we'll create our pictures using Canva's AI tools. On the left side, you'll see different options. Click on the app section to see all the tools Canva offers. In the search bar, type Magic Media and select it. This tool lets you make unique images just by describing what you want. After opening the Magic Media app, you'll see three choices, image, graphics, and videos. Since we need to make graphics, select graphics. Before you type in what image you want, pick the right style for your project. Since we're making a whiteboard animation, choose hand-drawn or sketch from the style options. These styles will give your images a hand-drawn feel, perfect for the whiteboard animation look. Now we need to write prompts in the box according to the story. Let's think about the first scene. We need an image of a young man named Liam who loves music. If you're not sure how to write prompts, here's a trick to help you. Open chat GPT and type, I want to make a video with this story in whiteboard animation style. Can you please suggest the scenes? Please make as many scenes as possible. Here is the story. Then paste your story and hit enter. ChatGPT will create scene descriptions based on the story. Copy these prompts and save them for later. Making a consistent and interesting character is important for storytelling. You can use ChatGPT to make a detailed character description. Here's how. First, open ChatGPT again and go to the Explore GPT section. In the GPT store, type consistent character in the search bar. When you find it, select consistent character GPT, fast and high quality. This tool is made to help you create clear and vivid character profiles. If you have a ChatGPT Plus account and select the custom GPT, you can create images directly. But don't worry, you don't need a Plus account right now since we're only making the prompt. Next, type, I am creating a character for my story. The character's gender is gender and their name is name. They are age, with hair color hair, and eye color eyes. Replace the brackets with your character's details. For example, I am creating a character for my story. The character's gender is male, and the name is Liam. He is 22 years old, with sandy blonde hair and green eyes. Now if you hit enter, it will generate an image. To avoid that, I'll provide a ready-made prompt, which you can find below this video. Simply copy it and paste it into ChatGPT. It's basically additional instructions. After entering your character's information, ChatGPT will give you a detailed character description. This will help you keep your character the same throughout your story. By giving clear details, you help the AI create a rich and engaging character that can make your story better and grab your viewer's attention. Next, we need to put the character into interesting scenes. Writing detailed scene prompts can help you picture these moments better. Copy the first scene description and paste it into ChatGPT. Then hit enter. ChatGPT will give you a detailed scene prompt. Copy this prompt and paste it into Canva's image prompt box. Then click generate. Canva will make four images based on your input, giving you different options to choose from. If you don't like the first images, you can make new ones until you find one that fits your idea. Once you've picked the image you like, click on it to add it to your canvas. You can move it around by clicking and dragging it to the right spot, making sure it fits well with the other parts of your design. This process makes your project look better and lets you customize it a lot. By using Canva's features to make, choose, and place images, you can create a nice-looking design that shows your message well. 
You can change the background color if you want. You can add extra things from the graphics tab to make it more interesting. Once the first scene is done, create a new scene. Using the same method, make the second scene's character prompt with ChatGPT. Generate the background using the expand tool if needed, add elements, and finish the second scene. Keep doing this until you have all the scenes for the video. When all the scenes are ready, download the images by clicking on Share, then Download. Choose PNG as the file type, select All Pages, and click Download. Now, create a new Canva design with the same size. Then upload the images by clicking on Uploads, then Upload Files, and add your PNG images. Place each image on a separate page in the right order. Now, let's make your pictures come alive by adding sketch animations using Canva's Speed Painter app. This feature makes it look like your drawings are being hand-drawn and colored right before your eyes, which adds to the whiteboard animation style of your video. First, go to the app section on the left side of Canva to open the apps panel. In the search bar at the top, type Speed Painter and press Enter. When you see the Speed Painter app in the search results, click on it to open it. This tool lets you turn your still images into moving sketch animations. Upload an image or choose one you've already added to your design. You'll see options to set how long the sketch and the color fill take. Adjust these settings as you like. For a quick effect, I suggest setting a short sketch duration, about one to three seconds. This helps your viewers quickly see what the image is, keeping them interested from the start. It's important to make sure your timings match how long the image shows in your video. For example, if your image is on screen for five seconds, the total time for the sketch and color fill should not be more than five seconds. This way, your animation fits smoothly into your scene. Don't forget to turn on the hand effect to make it feel even more like it's being drawn by hand. When you're happy with the timings and settings, click the Generate button. Speed Painter will process your image and create an animated version where the drawing appears to be sketched and then filled with color. To make your video flow nicely, add a dissolve transition between the animated video and the next image pages. This softens the change from the animation back to the still image, making the video smoother and keeping your viewers focused. Repeat this process for each scene to keep everything consistent. Next, upload your voiceover file by going to Uploads, then Audio, and dragging it onto the timeline at the bottom. Adjust the timing by clicking on each image and setting how long it stays on screen to match the voiceover. To make your animation even better, add music by going to Audio and searching for a background track like Inspiring or Acoustic. Lower the music volume so it doesn't overpower the voiceover and trim the music to match the length of your video. Preview your video by clicking Preview. Check to make sure everything lines up perfectly with the voiceover. Make any needed changes by adjusting timings, animations, or transitions. Finally, download your video by clicking Share, then Download, choosing MP4 video as the file type and clicking Download to save your animation. Our story is about Liam, who loves music. In his small town, he spent many hours in his uncle's garage, learning to play different instruments and writing his own songs. After finishing high school, he decided to follow his musical dreams and move to the big city to study at a famous music school. And there you have it. If this was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Feel free to leave any questions or comments below.